All crew, brace for a collision. Today, we're going to see what happens if I ram this container ship straight into an island. Let's get started. All right, so first thing we need to do is actually start this thing. So up here, we have the bridge with all of our actual instruments here. So we need to click coolant pumps, fuel pumps, both of those, um, engine ignition, and then we're going to put the throttle down. And oh my gosh, nope, enable the clutch. Ooh, that is not good for the motor, guys. I think we definitely just shredded some gears. Okay, so that's definitely not good. We're going to enable the clutch on full here. There we go. So we are going our top speed right now, I'm pretty sure. This thing is pretty quick. I can say that, but we also have a lifeboat on this thing this will be definitely necessary for what we're doing today especially if you're ramming an island you know it just seems kind of like necessary to have a light button on the back but yeah let's just run through a little bit of what's going on up here so right here we have a map so this is also kind of new to me i don't know what's actually in this thing how do we turn on our lights there we go then we have the uh trim right here the bow trim to go up and down so if we bring that down it should go down there we go so now we're lowering it so now we are sitting much better okay so what do we have going on here exterior lights um nav lights and fog lights okay and then we're gonna do deck spotlights oh those are really bright okay i don't think we need those on yet it's not like anything necessary for that then we have our radar right here which we can increase the distance really cool little radar there all right so it's basically everything up here we can go outside look for icebergs all that fun stuff that's basically the control room bridge up here let's go down another floor so we have a very nice seating area let's go and check our crew cabin right here so this is where some of our crew members will sleep at in this thing pretty cool they have a view of like what's going on in the front of the ship and to the right and then same thing on that side and then what's over here radio equipment room all right what's in here okay so we have some welders a whole bunch of radios oh my gosh is this a thing in real life they just have a room full of radios i mean they might i, I just don't know it looks really cool though um right here i think this is our lifeboat deck right here no it isn't wait how do we lower the lifeboat i think it's oh yeah so we have to go to this side over here exiting the bridge so we can extend it by doing that so it'll push it out we don't want to do that yet so we're just going to bring it in for now oh um oh gosh guys that's re that's really not good okay so what we're going to do is do raise winch so it um, stops catching that there we go so now i think we're fine but that's basically this floor right here why don't we drop another floor we have more crew cabins these ones are actually stacked on bunks so we can have a little bit more density in there and then we have a diving slash arctic gear why do we need that i don't know that's kind of concerning um anyways we have our deck right here that we can walk on why don't we go through a little bit of a tour of what's going on up here so this is like a self-loading deck so it actually does work but we're not going to be like transporting anything today we're just going to be ramming it into an island of course but um we can do crane forward which will move this entire platform platform forward which is pretty cool and then we can move it back and then left or right i'm pretty sure so let's go left or right oh my gosh okay so yeah that's how you move the cranes it's a little bit confusing probably because i've like never used this before anyways we're gonna get down from here and let's go ahead up to the bow of the ship um i'm a little bit concerned on this area right here because once the water starts going over like this this thing will sink insanely fast um i don't know it just looks like a water would really start filling up in that thing and then over here is our main equipment storage room i thought we already had that over there um all right so main equipment room dude this is a main equipment room oh my gosh so much equipment in here looks really cool though um let's see what's over here okay so that's like that little area right over here but all right on the bow of the ship here we have some refueling things i'm pretty sure refuel pump yep so that's how we refuel and then we have our um actual anchors right there i'm pretty sure so they hang off the side of the boat those are some pretty big looking anchors but yeah let's go ahead and actually go down a little bit deeper in this thing all right so now we are going pretty far below the water line i think we are below it maybe nope uh just barely wait what the heck is this room um rec room and pool dude this is the coolest room ever hold on turn on the lights dude there's up oh it's so nice in here this is oh okay okay um Oh, that's very interesting. So this is a cool room besides that place over there. So right here, we have a um, car that we can do W and S. So W and S is how you go up and we want to dodge stuff so we have coins here we're gonna collect some coins and i died okay oh never mind we have three hearts oh oh gosh oh gosh okay we got another one let's collect our coins okay anyways and then we have flappy bird in here and then we have what is this oh it's this one okay i know about this one um so we want to bring that down oh we missed okay anyways and then we have tetris over here really cool oh my gosh okay i don't even know how to play that well that's pretty cool i did not know we had that in this thing let's turn on our lights right here all right so we have the cafeteria right here this is where we make our food um they always have that subway setup going on in these types of boats i don't know why they missed us spot right there oh no but yeah we have some like potato salad um apple pie school erasers and cookies over here i don't know what's going on but yeah pretty cool food setup we are really close to the water line i'm surprised they put windows um actually that low uh, normally they don't but that's still pretty cool right here we have another monitor okay we have our med bay here of course medical bay always necessary on these types of boats and then we have the medical bay lights toilets and showers so this is how we um all stay clean on this boat with a walk-in shower um that does not work but it's still pretty cool all right but that's basically the interior wise of the ship there's still a little bit more over here um not over here that's the big main deck area so over here we can actually go in our main um actual hall area so this is where 
we see if there's any water leaks or anything. That's our active stabilizer right there. You want to watch out for that thing because that thing will swing and hit you in the face. So we need to hurry up over here. All right. So we have emergency um, actual hatches right here. Only open if the ship is capsized. So if this thing capsizes, we can just get out of there from there. Perfect. Then we have a whole bunch of actual bilge pumps in this thing. I think those are bilge pumps. I don't know what's going on with that, but pretty cool. And then we have, what is this? Um, access to the front of the boat right here. All right. Pretty awesome looking. A whole bunch of weight and our batteries are right here. All right. I'm surprised we even have access to this stuff. And then we have our ship horn, which is enclosed in the boat. I don't know if that'd be too effective, if I'm going to be honest. And then in the equipment room, I also did not see this, but we have a generator, emergency generator. Is there like normal generators in this thing or is this like the emergency one? Okay, we're going to start this just to test it. So we're going to do emergency generator start and put the throttle all the way up. Let's see how this goes. So generator output is at 26 on max. Um, That's all right. Our electric is going up pretty fast, as you can tell. So it definitely does work. We're going to shut that down. We don't want to be wasting all of our generator fuel. All right, so while we're out here, here, um, kind of searching for any islands. We're going to spawn in a tsunami. See how this thing can do actually against a tsunami because this is actually going to be questionable. If any water actually goes over that area right there, I think we're going to completely sink if that actually does happen. That's a little bit worrying. So just everyone hope that water does not go over this area right now. Oh gosh, that's going to be really bad if it does. Um, tsunami's coming from that way. So tsunamis always come from where the waves are actually um, opposite of the way the waves are facing. So yep, yeah, both of our radars right there. Um, actually three radars. Dude, those things use a lot of electric. I'm surprised our electrics actually still running kind of good but all right let's get a closer view of the tsunami out here on our deck so we got a tsunami forming right there all right um we kind of have that stuff hanging off the side of the boat so we might have a mile list to the left currently because a little bit of weight is actually hanging off the side there other than that um everything's looking clear besides a tsunami that is going towards us oh look at that thing forming oh my gosh um that's interesting why is there like a crack there i don't know okay the waves are really starting to pick up like the closer we get to it Do you guys notice that oh my gosh and then we have our massive active volcano right there that is the biggest active volcano in stormworks right there we did do a video on that when i actually water bombed it we're gonna hit the tsunami right here dude that thing is massive okay this is gonna do some damage i can say that oh we had a wave go over and there's actually water in there wait how do we pump out the water that's so bad guys we cannot have water in there we're gonna sink um what do we do i don't know okay well i can guarantee that this is going to let a little bit of water in our cargo compartment our light boat is not doing too oh i forgot to like strap that thing down oh that's really bad okay we're gonna need that so hopefully Hopefully that doesn't break. Here we go. Container ship versus tsunami. Let's see what happens here. Oh, the water's spilling over. Oh, um, I think it's completely full already. Here we go. Oh, um, guys. Okay, shut down the throttle. Shut down the throttle. Oh, oh my gosh. We are completely underwater. Um, that is not good. Here we go. We're diving out. Ooh, all the water spilling out. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we want. Um, we still oh, engine stalled. Um, wait, what? We have smoke. Um, our light boat isn't looking too good. Got wait. Um, we are kind of leaning. Wait, what's going on with our engine? Do you guys hear that? Um, we're gonna turn back on our what are we doing throttle up and able to clutch the one oh oh we really messed up the engine there well we are back up and running that didn't do a whole lot of damage let's kind of turn down this wind so we don't like die here already our lifeboat is having some issues right now i can confirm i don't know what's going on but it's just doesn't look too good if i'm gonna be honest but we also have an issue this thing is like 25 percent full which is definitely leaning this thing down a little more than it has to be it's, it's definitely a little bit of extra weight i can say that but this thing's made for carrying a whole lot of weight but um how do is there like bilge pumps for this area there definitely has to be um what do we click is this like a bilge pump button no release connector yeah so we can't even go over here because if you open the door it'll flood wait where's the engine room in this thing i for, I, I think i like forgot to tour some stuff so right here we have the turn off fire suppression um manually turn on fire suppression we're gonna turn this on what does that do oh gosh okay yep that's fire suppression right there for you all right so down here is the lower part of the boat with our fire suppression completely forgot to tour this little part we're gonna do it real quick then we'll probably run into the island here so we have our screwdriver and then we have our generator clutch your engine clutch yep so right there and then this is actually how you go to the main hall actually the lot is this all the logic in this thing that's actually not a whole lot of stuff going on okay i really doubt it but um yeah that's the engine room right here fire suppression and then some fans to keep the engines cold tsunami is about to actually hit the volcano but now we're just searching for an island to actually run into so what we're gonna do is click center so we are where we are at and then we're going to zoom out here and look for an island okay where's the nearest island near us that we can run into so we have an island right there and an island right there that's about the closest one a single pixel island um i don't know if that's gonna work hold, hold on how big is it um it says it's in front of us is that it right there that'll definitely work okay so i think we're gonna be ramming that island what island is that so we're right here and then this is the island um this is the i don't know what island this is but it is a fast travel location so we can teleport there but we're gonna be ramming that thing hold on i hear like some 
something beeping. Um, are we tracking something or are we getting an alert? Um, oh gosh, we don't have like any type of indicators up here. Um, cargo hold build. Wait, hold on. Cargo hold. Is that, isn't that that area right there? Cargo hold bilge pump. That has to be. Oh, it is. Oh, awesome. Okay. So we are now draining water from our cargo hold. Thank gosh I went over here. So right here we have a weather. Oh, it's one of these like weather calculator things. Okay. So temperature 30 Celsius. Um, it's a little bit chilly out here. Oh, yeah. But we are heading straight for that island. How far is that? Why don't we mark a waypoint on it? It is four kilometers away. Okay. Let's kind of start turning ourselves into it more. Which side should we hit it on? Port or side or starboard? Um, I don't know. Okay. We're draining our cargo. So that should start lowering here. I'm kind of thinking port side today. So our left side will be hit by the actual um, island. I hope this thing sticking out on the side here will not affect it. We could probably bring that in real quick. So we're heading straight for the island on our left side. Perfect. That looks like a really big rock just floating. Okay. That's going to do some damage. All right. We're on our instrument controller here. We're going to bring this stuff back in just so we can like kind of like not run into the island with that stuff. I don't want it to like catch on to anything. All right, so we're going to go back down here. Um, That should be draining somehow. I don't know how. There's no pumps visually, but I mean, it's going down, I think. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Container ship versus island in four kilometers. I've never done anything like this before. I normally don't like ram islands. I just do like sinking ships, you know. Wait, is that another lifeboat? Um, No, that's just like other floaty stuff. I think that'll work as like a lifeboat. Hold on, let's go down there and check on that. I definitely kind of think we need that. Oh my gosh, I left a door open. Okay, I did not know that was open. So that definitely let water in. We have our floaties right here. So this will actually float and let everyone know where we sank at. We probably could disconnect those also when we know we're going to crash. But we have our pump valve on. Wait, what is this? A fire pump? Is this a fire pump? Three, two, one. Oh, um, yes, it is. Fire pump right here. It doesn't have a lot of actual um, air pressure, water pressure, I could say, to it. All right, just woke up from my nap. I'm just a crew member on the boat. What's going on? Okay, we have an island over there. We need to turn left. What the heck? We're like going to miss it. I swear we were just pointed at it earlier. Okay, so full port side right now. Here we go. We're going to hit it also on our port side side. So what's going on over here? What is this island even about? Is there anyone on it? I hope there isn't because if there is, they're going to report this and I'm going to get fired. This is supposed to look like an accident. Okay. So it's not like I'm supposed to do this like on purpose. You know, I can confirm we have a little bit of like an axle arrangement issue. It's like leaning to the right really bad, even though I'm like keeping it in a straight line. Okay. So we need to check up on our light boat right now. It's not doing too well. We need to like, we need to get ready to actually deploy this. So we're going to extend it just to like, hopefully get it out of this position here all right deployed oh that looks rough oh gosh okay please do not break yourself oh my gosh okay a little bit concerning okay we're gonna rise the winch here all the way to max and then we should bring it back in and then keep rising it because it's gonna scrape here there we go all right so now all we have to do is jump in here and actually how do we like can we drop it in here or extend it um drop it or extend it no we can't oh that's really bad okay well this will be interesting when the situation comes in two kilometers here any other boats let's make sure the area is clear before we do anything crazy here any other boats um there's one right there oh he might be looking at us right now guys this is really bad okay um we're gonna act like we're sleeping i'm totally not the captain i'm a engine room operator for some reason on the bridge currently um yeah everything's clear though besides that and besides that we're gonna hit an island here momentarily so let's start turning towards it even more so see how i was pointing to it earlier it just keeps turning right for some reason like we, we have some type of rudder um hydraulic issue going on right now but that's completely fine because it will no longer be an issue here in a couple minutes i mean it will be our issue but it like won't be our problem you know because this thing you know it won't be existing really all right so here we go um it's leaning to the right hold on um wait what's our active stabilizer doing is it like doing anything crazy yeah it's like leaning to the right a little bit more than the left so we have a right water issue i think because that's all i could think of what's the water level looking like for our compartment here um 10,000 liters oh, that's 102,000 liters what the heck Heck, that is so much water actually still in that thing. Um, I've never seen that much water actually in one of those things. Okay, it's draining really fast, though. That's all that matters. So we're going to get rid of our waypoint here so we can actually see the island. Here we go. We're going to go full port side again. We're going to completely scrape the side of this boat. Oh, it's going to be really rough, guys. All right, lifeboat is open. Wait, we should close that real quick. We don't want that door open just in case. Um, I don't know why just in case, but, you know, just in case water could somehow go up our, like, seven decks here and completely flood it. All right, here we go. We're going to be ramming this island with our container ship dude it is so shallow over here it's getting even shallower look at our shadow it's just like rising on us here oh that's really bad guys that's really bad oh we're getting close to it anyone on that island i hope there isn't because they're gonna see something wild here in a second um no one on it i think we're clear guys oh it's getting really shallow i hope that's not an issue don't beach ourselves please oh here we go all crew brace for collision here we go oh we just rammed it um wait what did that do um wait we ran into it what just happened oh we have a mate oh there's so much damage okay that's definitely an issue 
issue. Why aren't we moving anymore? Hold on. Um, completely shut down the throttle, I think. That thing brought a cargo ship to a complete stop. I don't know what's going on, but that was that's definitely not normal. Okay, I'm gonna be oh, okay. We're still going. We're still going. Oh, oh, we're still scraping the bottom. Oh, that's really bad, guys. That's really bad. Turn into it, turn into it. Oh, I don't think we're getting any more scraping. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, we have a whole lot of damage actually under the water right there. All right, so in a second here, we're gonna go below deck, see actually what that did. I bet there's so much water flooding in just from that right there. Yes, a ton of water can still flood in just from that. We're gonna get a little bit deeper here just so if this thing does sink, we don't wanna be sinking in this shallow of water. It's really not that fun when that happens. So we're gonna go to deeper seas here. We're gonna go also uh, starboard so we don't go anywhere near that island. Um, I think no one saw that though. No one was on radar. Let's increase our distance to max here. Yeah, yeah, no one definitely saw that. We're good. All right, I think we've gone deep enough. We're gonna go down there and see what's going on. I do see some like water flooding in. Oh, that's really bad, guys. Okay, you know what? Shut it down. Shut the engine down right now. Um, wait, it's not stopping. Okay, turn the stuff down. Oh, okay. Um, so let's see what's going on down there. We're listening to the front. You guys feel that? Oh, oh my gosh. Hold on. We need to go below deck and see what's going on with the actual bow of the ship. We are taking on major amounts of water currently. Um, so is it up here? Um, no, that's the cargo hold. We don't want to go over there. So we're going to go below the water line. Oh, wait, why did the fire suppression just turn on? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. How do we get to like the back? All right. So what's going on back here? Hello. Hello. We're going to open this access to hallway. Wait, do you guys see that? Hold on. There's water. Um, we have water flooding into our bottom compartments currently. We have zero access to them. Um, this is an issue. Emergency generator. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, there's water. Wait, are we going down? Oh gosh, guys. Guys, I think we're having a water issue towards the front of this thing. It is leaning bad. Oh, it's about to go over that cargo area. We might need to start loading the lifeboat. All right, what we're going to do is go in this like main compartment right here again and go in the main hall. Oh, um, you guys see that? There's water in the main. Oh, it's about to spill up. Don't touch my shoes. These are expensive. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's filling up, guys. This is really bad. Look at it, dude. There's a massive hole in the front. We're leaning really bad. All right, I think I'm going to actually aboard the lipo right now. If it spills over this cargo bay, this thing's going to sink so insanely fast. I don't even want to know. So let's probably get the heck out of here. Um, so how do we extend this? Raise the light boat and then extend it. So we're going to raise it just like that. I think it's already on max and then we're going to push it out. Um, so how am I supposed to board it if I'm dropping it behind us without like getting completely soaked? All right, we're going to lower it here. Um, that does not look safe at all. Yep. All right, it's in the water. What we're going to click is release light boat. There we go. Uh, it's completely disconnected from our boat. So we'll go in there in a second once this thing actually starts doing some crazy stuff here. It is about to get crazy. I can say that. Wait, are we sinking? Oh, it might be because we have the pitch trim. Remember when we did that in the beginning, the pitch trim? Um, let's let's see. Let's go up here and do the bout. Yeah, bout trim. Same thing. And then if we bring it back down, it should go to normal. Oh, there's like water spilling. In. Wait, what's going on over here? Um, oh, oh my gosh. Wait, it's flooding into that main compartment right there. That leads straight to the engine room. Um, okay, that's really not good. Yeah, so engine room is completely flooding right now. I don't know what's going on. Not good. I can say that. Firefighting gear. No, we don't need that. Um, we're just gonna die down here if we continue going down there. So water is actually starting to go over the bow right here on every, like, really mini wave. You guys saw that? Like, a little bit of water there. Oh, yeah. Here we go, guys. This thing is going down pretty quick. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's spilling over the waterway. Oh, there it goes. It just sunk so fast. Okay, you know what? We need to get in the light boat. Oh, it is still connected. Disconnect it. Disconnect it. Here we go. Oh, disconnect it. Okay, we disconnected it and now jump out of the way of the sinking boat. Oh my gosh, what just happened? That thing sunk so fast. That cargo bay does not play around. Okay, please flip. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is try going on this light boat here. Hopefully it doesn't like capsize. Okay, go in it here. Close the hatch and there we go. We're in the light boat and we're gonna start the engine, I think we do. And WNS is our throttle. All right, we are getting the heck out of here. That thing sunk so fast. Look at this little dinky thing. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I guess that's what we get if we run into an island. That was just insane. Like that thing, that's definitely like an issue of of some sort there's no way that thing should be like completely open for water to fill in but that's probably going to be it for this video that boat sunk so fast it is in the description if you want to go ahead and use it but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye